Well, folks, we tracked this deer, and he went down into this deep bottom, deep bottom, straight down, right down in the creek bed is where we found him. By no means my biggest buck ever, but he's the first one that come in this year close enough for a shot with it being this late in the season before rifle season I decided to take him man I went across that field and like I said it was a long crawl I think we said it was 40 to 45 minute stalk <laughs> wow um, but Jeremiah couldn't go with me no not, a, not on the stall no um, stalk and crawl a stalk and crawl yes yeah. so he stayed back and film from the distance, which like I say is 100 plus yards. So I run down to the creek, I get down to the creek and I'm expecting to see this bird laying there in the creek. Well, I get down there and I see nothing. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. So I don't know, I'm gonna go over here and see if I can find some feathers where I, where I busted him. Well, after I get over there to the creek and don't, don't see the bird, and I'm going around looking under all these down trees and these root wads and rock piles that are laying around, I come across another critter that likes to slither through the grass, like I just did. You know, after seeing this snake, I thought, well, what the heck? I asked him, I said, snake, have you seen, <laughs> have you seen my turkey? Yeah. I didn't get no reply. Seen a turtle. That's the turtle. I said, turtle, did you see my turkey? <laughs> no reply. So I actually think I blew that turkey to pieces. I don't, I don't think there was a piece of him left. I think he just blew up. Blew up. I'm shooting Remington. Yeah. Did I miss? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's good looking. He's good looking turkey. Huh? Oh yeah. Pretty great. Boy, well, these Missouri turkeys are pretty though. And I wanted to show it's a Benelli, <laughs> not a Remington. <laughs> yeah, not a Mossberg. He's got a Mossberg up in the truck. I'm a Mossberg man myself. Why would, why would, why? Yeah. Bring the camera in. Right. After uh, after we got through shooting, all the guys went down there with the gentleman scoring the targets. Oh my god. <laughs> right here. That's the winner. It's raining. It's raining. Guys, thank you. I appreciate you guys. That was awesome. That was wild stuff right there. Hey, good job, bro. Good job. That was good stuff. After it was all scored, we won, I believe it was by one point. By one point. Yes. And, you know, I got up and done the victory, you know, got up on their shoulders, done the victory ride. And, you know, doing my famous yeah. wave. What was up with that wave? I think we have a winner. <laughs> That's all right. I'm you know, hunting doesn't work out for you. Beauty contest, maybe. We were doing some filming over there, and you were standing next to me, and all of a sudden I glanced over and you're gone. Where'd you go? Well, I thought the competition was for pinks. Pink slips? Pink slips. Huh. I went and stole the truck. <laughs> <laughs> you what? <laughs> I went and stole the truck. Bodacious is big truck? Yeah. Well, how'd it drive? Well, you know, once I went through the mud pit and everything with it, it you know, when it got to the rocks, it had a little bit of problem. Mm. Well, did you return it? No, I still got the truck. You want to go for a ride? Hey, let's go. <laughs> well, I misjudged the yards. I mean, you misjudged the yards. I misjudged the yards. I didn't have time to pull my rangefinder out. Yeah. I got the camera in one hand, the bow in the other. I didn't have time to pull my rangefinder out, so I guessed this deer to be at 23 to 25 yards. I'm guessing it would. And it wasn't. It was more around 30, 32. 
after ranging it was 32. And it happens. It happens, so, you know, as we see, with the Luminox on, you can see it a lot better. Mm -hmm. The arrow was going straight towards the bread basket, and then, no. It dove. Yeah, yeah, we're right under. One of them diving arrows, huh? We had to leave the camera in the blind. It was raining. And I had to go, you know, creep up on this bird. It was the next to the last day of season. So I had to do the old sneak, or what I like to call the unique hunt, and I uniqued up on it. Well, then, there is a bright side to all this. Where? Our editor was able to get some footage. Satellite feed? No. Reenactment. Let's see it. Well, folks, this bird just ain't coming in. I'm gonna have to go after it. Hold on a second. No, Dad. It's far too dangerous. I'll go myself. But, son. Shh. Trust me. Good luck, son. Luck. Who does he think I am? Lynn Wilson? really happened close enough you found no bird mm -hmm. but what happened before that you were still up in the stand and you seen the other birds yes yeah, out so there I, so I videoed them for a long mm -hmm. time and all of a sudden here comes a rogue bird yeah a rogue fifth bird it just comes in from nowhere do we think that maybe that was the I'm bird I'm thinking that might be the bird that I hit because on on the film we see you might have hit a little far forward yeah now here it appears to me on this shot that you might have shot just a little bit forward. A little bit. I breast shot her. Breast shot her. <laughs> now, in my professional opinion, oh, here we go. My professional opinion. Here's where you shot. Correct. Here's where you want to shoot. Correct. You shot here. Here's where you want to shoot. Right. This is where you want to shoot. This way. Got it. Shot. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. But if you remember in the first episode. You had a turkey come in at 40 yards and didn't even sling an arrow. But if I had him, I would have hit here. We'd like to talk a little bit about uh, gun safety. And when you're hunting out of a blind, 
You'd like to uh, make sure you put the barrel out one of the windows because uh, if not, you're going to make another window. And this one don't close up. Let's light in. Becomes a problem. Um, this is Christy's hole here. She uh, shooting at a deer and she was a little far back in the blind. When she shot, she moved a little bit. She was, uh, she, unfortunately, she made a bad shot on the deer and we, were, we uh, discovered it this morning and Kyle was eating it up. But she's gonna need a little practice shooting through the blind. But, you know, could've been worse. Could've been better. I think this blind's now for sale. Probably find it on eBay or Craigslist. Uh, small minor holes in it. Uh, I tell you, I just sat down. I bet it wasn't three to five minutes. I sit down. I'd made a little mock scrape using some JNS scent. I took out my can call. I made three cans, three calls on it. And I heard something. I looked over and seen this guy coming. And he was coming pretty quick. So again, I apologize for not a lot of footage. But uh, it, it was all I could do to get ready and take him. Uh, but I'm very happy with him. He's a nine pointer looked like he was having a little nub right here almost a 10 short tined fairly wide nice buck i'm proud of him down here in ava missouri and uh again i'm proud of him i <sighs> last year i went a little drought didn't see many bucks i got this one down on the ground Now to get him out of here. Good thing he didn't run real far. So it was a good buck. We're, I was proud of it. And uh, it was the opening day of season. And it was cold this deer season. So I got I to gotta sleep in. You would have shot a six point opening day of season. Wide six point. 